So Charlie, uh, we cross paths a lot in our workspace. Yes. Um, I remember this new face being around and then being around even more and then all of a sudden you were traveling and shooting for big stars. So is there a moment where you were just like, wow, like I made it? Not, not that I made it, I don't, I kind of don't, because there's always so much more to do, so I never kind of have that feeling that I made it. But um, when All-Star Weekend was here, that was big for me, and then just the fact that I was able to shoot it, I, I kind of, I can, I can really believe that. So going from high school to professional, what was your biggest challenge cracking into the industry? I think the biggest challenge was just being taken seriously probably just because when I was first started, Instagram was kind of a wave and there wasn't too many people who, who were crossing paths of like, you're an Instagram photographer or a real photographer. Mm -hmm. So I think just being taken seriously and showing that you can do more than just what the typical Instagram person would post on, on their social media. Is there one photo that's like your most prized photo? Yeah, I would say my favorite is probably, uh, I took a photo of Kobe in his last game in Toronto. I just went on the court and took a photo of him during the anthem. And he had the, uh, the shot clock was on 24 in the back. I have a photo, which is another one of my favorite photos. Uh, it's from last playoffs. They were getting beat by the Cavs and I'm like, yeah, I just want, I really want a photo of LeBron doing like a signature dunk. And then he didn't dunk it, but he, he went up for a layup and uh, there's this player that was grabbing him back. Then I think that's one of my favorite photos just because he kind of looks like MJ and Space Jam with like the monsters pulling them back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even go. do that on purpose. <laughs> crazy. How would you describe your photography style? I feel like my style is kind of raw and intimate. There's so many different cool things about basketball besides just like the actual action. So just trying to capture everything. Do you have kids reaching out to you that want to pursue photography? For sure, yeah, all the time. And, and what would your advice be to somebody that um, wanted to follow your footsteps? Well, usually it's, I, I tell like kids who, who talk to me, I, get, I just tell them to keep shooting is like the main, the main thing, but also just to ask as many questions as possible. Just gathering all that information and trying to find out what works best for you, I think is the best way to go about it. And is there one person that you're just dying to shoot for still? To be honest, I, I really want to shoot Will Smith. Okay, why? Yeah, because he was, he was like my idol, idol for real since I was like five. So that's next, that's but next. what else Hopefully. is next for you? Um, just the, the Raptors stuff and shooting the playoffs and they have a good chance to make the finals, so I'm hoping that that happens because NBA Finals is one thing that I'd like to check off my list as well, so we'll see.